Hey guys, simplifying the shell with bash aliases. That's our topic for today, so let's get started. Okay, so simplifying the shell with bash aliases. What does that mean? Well, when you're doing things in the terminal, sometimes you have to type these very long, sometimes very convoluted commands, or sometimes these commands, they don't make a lot of sense. They're random characters that uh, they don't really mean much to you personally. And uh, some of these commands are hard to remember, especially if they're commands that you tend to run on a regular basis. So it's good to create short, uh, easy to remember aliases for these commands. Basically, you can think of them as key bindings or almost like hotkeys. Uh, for example, when you update your system in the terminal, say in Debian or Ubuntu, you run sudo apt update and n sudo apt upgrade. That's a pretty long command. Wouldn't it be better to shorten that to just a handful of characters on the keyboard? Let me show you how you do that. So today I am running Lubuntu. Lubuntu is a Ubuntu based distro, also a Debian based distro. So what I'm going to show you today involves the apt package manager, which is the package manager in Debian and Ubuntu and all Debian and Ubuntu based distros. But you could take what I'm going to show you today and apply it to other Linux distributions. Uh, you just won't be able to do it exactly the way I'm going to do it because today I'm going to be creating aliases for the apt package manager but if you were running something like arch then you could do something you could do something similar to what I'm doing today but you would uh, use pacman commands instead of apt commands so all right so we are in the shell here I've opened a terminal we are in the bash shell that is the standard shell in most Linux distributions uh, to view the bash config file, it is a file called bash rc. So nano dot bash rc. It has a dot in front of it, dot bash rc, because it's a hidden file in your home directory. Nano dot bash rc will show you the standard config here, the default config for your bash shell. There are already some aliases in this config file. You will see lines like this one here, alias grip equals grip dash dash color equals auto. It changes your standard grip command to grip dash dash color equals auto. Adds a little color to it. Uh, you also have things like this command here, or this alias, alias ll is ls, the list command with the flags dash alf. But you really shouldn't add aliases to your bash rc file. Um, if you read the bash rc file carefully, you will notice right here, alias definitions. You may want to put all your additions into a separate file, like dot bash underscore aliases. It's basically telling you, you need to create a new file called dot bash underscore aliases. And that's where you need to add all your custom aliases that you create yourself. So that's what we're going to do today. So let me exit out of this. Control X to ex exit out of nano. And we need to create a new file. So um, let's go ahead and create that dot bash underscore aliases file. So touch dot bash underscore aliases should create that new file. Let's ls to list everything in our home directory we're currently in the home directory and of course it won't list hidden files we need to run ls a for all including hidden files and directories and dot bash aliases is there so we did su successfully create that file now nano the nano text editor dot bash underscore aliases and now we need to actually write something into this file because this file is an empty file. So in Debian, Ubuntu, Mint, Elementary, often to run an update, you need to sudo apt update. Wouldn't it be simpler to run something like, I don't know, AUPD, A for apt, UPD for update. So I'm going to create that alias. So alias and then AUPD. 
equals, and then single quotes, sudo apt update, end single quotes. All right, so we've just created a new alias. Instead of me having to type that long command, sudo apt update, now AUPD does the exact same thing. We've created that alias. So, but you usually are not going to do sudo apt update without also doing sudo apt upgrade. So let's create an alias for sudo apt upgrade. Alias. A, and then how about upg for upgrade equals sudo apt upgrade. I like that. That would work. But you know what? You usually run these commands together. At least I often do. I just sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade all in one command. Can we do the same thing here? Well, sure. We could alias A for apt and then U, P, D for upgrade, update and then G for upgrade. Just do them all in one command. So equals sudo apt upgrade or sudo, excuse me, sudo apt update and then sudo if I can type sudo apt upgrade in single quotes. I think that's all the aliases I'm going to do on this video. Let me control X, control X, Y for save. Uh, let's restart the bash shell. I'm going to just type bash. All right. I'm going to clear too to get rid of all the stuff on the screen. Now AUPD should run an update for us. AUPD. Yep, it asks for my sudo password. And there you go. It's uh, syncing the repos. Basically, it just ran sudo apt update for me. And we'll wait for it to finish. All right, so, and we also created the alias AUPG for sudo apt upgrade. Let me go ahead and run that, make sure it's working. It is, there's nothing to upgrade. My system's up to date. And of course we did the AUPDG for both sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade all in one command. Let's make sure this works. And there we go. It just ran on both. Again, there's nothing needing, needing to be updated. So that's bash aliases. Of course this works in other shells too, such as ZSH and fish and various other shells, but bash is by far the most popular shell in, Lin in Linux. It's usually the default shell on most systems. Even if it's not the default shell, it's usually installed on most Linux distros. So you can do a lot with bash aliases. This would work. I mean, you could do stuff with the Pac-Man uh, package manager, you know, create aliases for all those Pac-Man commands you use in Arch and Arch-based Linux distributions. The same for Emerge and Gentoo-based distributions. Of course, it doesn't even have to be commands related to the package manager. I mean, you could create aliases for anything, uh, for, you know, the ls command, grep, awk, sid, uh, anything that you can run in a terminal as a, as a command, you can set aliases for it. So might be something you guys want to take a, take a look at and check out, create your own, own custom, uh, basically key bindings for the shell. Of course, the programs that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, I would probably create bash aliases for, or things like cow say and pony say. They're kind of long words, you know, seven and eight letter words. I would uh, create aliases for them, such as CSY for cow say, or PSY for pony say. But that's just me. But anyway, I know you guys, some of you don't like when I do videos on the terminal, the command line, the shell. But I really think this stuff is important. I, I, I think it's valuable as a Linux user to know a little bit about the command line because eventually you're go going to need it. Even if you prefer to live in a graphical environment, things break occasionally. And a lot of times the easiest solution to fixing your problem is to drop down into a shell and to run a few commands. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace, guys.